Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Kurt Angle Career Mode. Seems that our most recent win is in is a candidate for submission of the year. Um see who our next fight's gonna be. Ooh, a title fight. Wait. Is it a UFC scattered fight though? Ah, uh, I get like two actions for every one of these though. Ah. Uh. I do want more time though to like. Mm. God, that title fight is so enticing though. Yeah, I think I, I think I want to do a title fight. Let's just do that. I'll get my training done, and then we'll see if we can come become the WFA champ. Alright guys, it looks like we ran into a little snap view here. Um I have restarted this PlayStation at least two or three times. But every time I tried to proceed to the fight, I am stuck on this screen. I literally cannot do anything. Look, I can't even can't even bring up my menu. So I think what we're gonna have to do from here, some after I restart this for like the third time, third or fourth time, we're going to have to simulate our fight. And we'll just have to leave it up to chance if um, we actually win or not. Which I hate to do, but seems to be the only way forward at this point. Alright guys, moment of truth. Yeah. Simulate. Fingers crossed. I would love to be champion. Ah, she worked. <laughs> okay. I wish I could have seen that, but uh, you know what? Win's a win. I'll take it. Looks like we won by knockout in uh, the third round. Not enough for a uh, knockout of the night, though. It's fine. Take it. Still undefeated. Okay, good, 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 good. Getting out awards. Yay! We got submission of the year, too. Nice. It's that ankle lock, man. Okay. Hopefully we don't really run into too many bugs like that. Because, uh... You know, we literally just started this career mode. We're gonna fight Kyle Flynn. And, yeah, do our proper training. I'm trying to get my strength up so I can learn a German suplex. So, yeah, do our training. See you guys at the fight. All right, Kyle Flynn. You don't know what you're in for, buddy. Take you down right away. Get back up. I'm going to take you down again. Up we go. Boom. I'm working on my ground and pound too. No, sir. You're not gonna get up that easy. It's Kurt Angle you're talking about, man. You think you're gonna get away from an Olympic gold medalist? Come on. You know, I wonder if that's something that they could incorporate for the next UFC game. Where you can, you can choose or be a little more in depth about your background, because I know when you're creating a character, they already have a bunch of different styles as it is. But imagine if you could go even more in depth, like, oh, this guy um, <clears throat> was like an Olympic level boxer or an Olympic. Uh, Medalist in judo or wrestling, you know And that would give you like even more stats uh, In a specific area while you're starting out Now obviously there might be a trade-off, you know, you're you could be an Olympic style wrestler, which means you probably have like 85 or like 90 out of a hundred 
for both your takedown offense and, de and defense stats, but your striking starts off at like 50, you know? Obviously, there's got to be a huge trade out. Alright, I want to go in your guard because I want this anchor lock. Uh, no. Get back in his guard. Alright. No! Get back down here. Give me this ankle lock. Ankle lock. There we go. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, can I get it? Buzzer beater. Ah! Uh. I know, Kurt. You're disappointed. Almost had it. I probably could have finished it with a ground and pound, but I'm using Kurt Angle. His signature is, um, his signature move is the ankle lock. I'm pretty sure you can knock someone out with a slam, too, in this game, but they have to be really weak. Now, obviously, they don't have the angle slam in this. I don't even think they have a var a variation that's even close. That's why I'm trying to learn this German suplex. So that was another move that Kurt Angle did a lot in his WWE days. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, Kurt, let's get him. Let's break his ankles. Posture up, maybe? Nope. Just trying to stall, huh? Ah, oh, you suck. <sighs> I want to submit you so bad. Definitely need to improve my speed at some point. At least I can still take him down with ease. Give me this ankle lock, boy. You got away from it the first time. I will not let you escape this time. You will not be saved by the bell. Ha <laughs> ha. Called it. Enjoy your victory, Kurt. As he twists his ankle, he can hear the bones snap, which causes his opponent to cry out in pain and tap immediately. I know it's a toe hold, but when you're using Kurt Angle, you call it an ankle lock. The winner. Give me my belt. Give me my belt. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Kurt Angle looks good with gold around his waist. And another submission of the night. Who? Okay, let's see. Who's going to be our next opponent? Arturo or Deontay Wilder? <laughs> uh, I might do one or two more fights in WFA. Got to get my stats up a little bit more before I head into UFC. Go fight this Arturo guy. Alright, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to look, take this guy down immediately. Almost got my takedown stat to where I need it to be in order to learn that German suplex. Okay, I want to see if I can get this. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Less than a minute. <laughs> Don't let me touch your ankle, man. 
Do not let me touch that ankle. Keep in mind, my submission stats are only at a uh, 60 right now. So imagine how quickly I can get it when I get it closer to like 80. Be submitting guys in like 45 seconds instead of a minute. <laughs> Winners. Another successful tile defense. I didn't even have to throw a punch. <laughs> Another submission of the night. Alright, I'll probably do one more fight for this episode, so... Fight Deshaun Jones, or I could fight Jorginho Rosenstruck. Rosenstrike. Hmm... Nah, I'm going to fight the Sun. And this will probably be my final fight in the WFA before I move over to the UFC. We'll just, we'll just have to wait for the next episode for that. Let's try to finish strong here. Alright, lads. I finally got my takedown offense to 80. But you know we got to learn this move. Just have to. It won't be a true run through without two things. We already got the ankle lock. Just need a German suplex now. And I'll try to learn other variations of suplexes as well. Look at this. We got a suplex Jan Blahovich. Up we go. God, Kurt just has no mercy for these opponents. I mean, these guys are offering little resistance and he's just throwing them right on their heads. Alright, let's see. Get behind him. So, oh, come on. Let me suplex you. There we go. Just need to do it two more times, buddy. Come on. Be a good training partner. Let me get this. There we go. One more time. Seal the deal. Up we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Feels good. Alright, looking to defend our WFA title for the third time. Get over here. I'm gonna suplex you. Up we go. Oh. Let's get you a little more towards the center. Suplex. Nice. I'm gonna get your back. Can I choke you out? Imagine. Imagine. Oh, no way. I might actually pull this off. Nope. Ah. Uh, transition so I can reverse you. Come on. Try to transition. I want to reverse you. Alright. I'll strike with you a little bit. Damn. You just like straight up punched Mario Yamasaki, man. I know he's not everyone's favorite ref, but come on. You can tell there's this clear speed this uh, advantage on his side. There we go. Ground and pound. Transition. Let me get this reversal. No? Okay. I'll advance then. This reminds me of my Hamzat playthrough. Oh, Kurt, you're tired. Didn't realize how much energy you were expending there, Kurt. 
You stood me up for a mount? They're crazy. They're crazy, Mario Yamasaki. Uh. <laughs> no. I'm so tired. Definitely my round, though. Hey, you never get to cage. You turn. I want you kneeing or digging to the body. Okay? Keep him busy. I was really close with that submission, though. Almost had him out of there. You want this fight? You gonna go win this I don't see that right hand that dropped him. Oh, yeah, this is the German. Hold on. Boom. <laughs> That could be a thumbnail right there. Yeah, we're still recording. Okay. This is the right hand. Just out of range. Boop. <laughs> just a little love tap. That's all I needed. So weird fighting without any commentary. So used to being at the UFC, hearing Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan. It's very strange for the WFA to not have anything. So wasn't, um... Wasn't Stefan Bonner, like, a guest commentator at the WFA? And Frank Mir? Or, no, no, I'm thinking of WEC. I don't know who commentates for WFA. Oh, you know I want a suplex you, don't you? Come here. I'm going to suplex you while you're rocked. Here we go. Oh, I rocked him too. I rocked him with the suplex. <laughs> nice. Well, there you go. We got something else besides the uh, ankle lock for a finish. It's probably just going to show the ground and pound, right? Yeah. That's alright. Boom. 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 <laughs> the winner. Skip through all this. Okay, I still had decent stamina at the end. I wasn't too bad. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this for this episode. I've been recording for a while. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, with that being said, see y'all in the next one. See ya.